Do you use MailerLite for your email marketing? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new signed document. So to do that, I'm going to head up to the top left hand corner where it says my forms and we're going to switch over to my signed documents. Then we're going to click on that green button, the create signed document. And then if you already have a PDF version of the document that you need signed, you can always utilize the upload document option. But today I'm going to use a template. Now, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'm gonna go ahead and use this simple one page lease agreement. Now, one thing I like to do before I start editing a signed document is I always wanna take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I see up here, we have everyone in orange, which means one person is going to be signing. I'm gonna scroll down here at the bottom. We see we have the tenant in purple. So now I know if I head back up to the top, it looks like this one right here is currently assigned to the landlord. So I just need to click on it and assign it to the tenant. Now we also need to collect their email address. And if you're familiar with JotForm, it is very simple, just like our form builder, it's just drag and drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the email right over here. Perfect. And it automatically gave us the tenant option, which is perfect. So this looks good for me. I'm gonna head up to our integrations now under this settings tab and integrations over here on the left. Then I'm gonna come right up here to the search bar. We're gonna do a quick search for MailerLite. Perfect. Next, we need to authenticate. So if you have never integrated MailerLite with JotForm, you're going to need to grab your API key. And within MailerLite, it's under the integrations tab. But I've already logged in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the account I wanna work with. And JotForm does a really good job of mapping which fields should go where. So I'm just gonna do a really quick check just to ensure everything is correct. Perfect, so we for sure have their name and their email. And if we need to add any other fields, we can choose that add a new field option. Now I need to choose a group that I want them to be added to. I'm gonna choose my new customer group and then save. And let's go ahead and finish it up. Perfect, let's head over to send and let's give this a test. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add in my tenant's information. Now, as of right now, if I press send to sign, both the landlord and the tenant are going to get this email at the same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I wanna ensure the landlord gets it first to pre-fill everything out and then the tenant gets it second. In order to do this, all we need to do is just turn on the signing order right here. And if someone's in the wrong place, we just can click on these dots on the left and move them around. So we are good to go. I'm going to go ahead and do send a sign and let's head over to the landlord's email. I'm going to go ahead and choose review and sign document. And we can see it did say three fields, but it dropped down to two because it went ahead and populated this for me. And just for the sake of time, I'm just going to jump down here and go ahead and sign and date this. Perfect. Then I'll go ahead and complete and sign and then accept and send. Perfect. So let's go ahead and head over to the tenant's email and we'll do a review and sign and it dropped from four to two. So we see the name and email right up here. So I'm just gonna jump down here to review and sign and date. Perfect, signing complete and accept and send. All right, let's head over to MailerLite. And there we are right here. Now, if we head up to groups, we can see I have my new customer group with that one new subscriber. Perfect. And then once this kicks off, it sends that welcome automation. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign with your MailerLite account, let us know. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.